Hello everyone. Back for another pull back from okay, it's all going from up here on top of the crane. Um, starting to get very windy. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a whoop. Um, it's a bit of a stormy day here in so-called Sydney. Um, but yeah, that hasn't stopped Blockade Australia from shutting down this port three times today. This is the fourth day we've shut it down this week. And yeah, I guess we are calling on other climate concerned people to uh, step up to the challenge and start to acknowledge just how far up Shit Creek we really are. You know, we, we are facing a global environmental emergency that is not being addressed and that has been actively blocked by Australia, but not only but not only Australia, you know, all of these nation states around the world, you know, they're very good at wheeling out PR campaigns and these greenwashing sorts of statements, uh, but they don't do anything. All they really want to do is expand their empires because that's the only thing they've ever known how to do. You know, you look at, you look at, you look at the Western Empire, you know, England and America, Australia and Europe, you know, they're happy to go and wage war and, and steal resources and murder tens of thousands of people all over the world. But then they also, you know, as soon as some other sort of empire, like Russia does it, they go and, oh, look at you baddies over there. It's like, this is, this, this, this system, the Australian system, is part of the most vicious, violent empire that has existed on this, on this planet. And it is still in power here, and it is very determined not to let go. You know, the people in the majority world, you know, where most people live, um, who are working for, you know, working as, as pretty much slaves, they have no capacity to change this global order because they are not in control, because, because they're, you know, they're, their states are subservient to the Western Empire and this global, this global rule system that the Americans and the British and the French and the Europe and, and, and have, have set up to benefit themselves. You know, the pillaging of Africa, the pillaging of this continent here, you know, the pillaging of Latin America by the United States. That is the reality of the world, is that these empires will use force, will use brutal violence to maintain their control over global supply chain, over global supply lines. So it's up to us, the people who can see that, to put our bodies in the way of their supply lines. And that's what I'm doing here today. I'm here um, on Bidjigal country. Um, this, this, this land was stolen here by um, the British Empire and the British Empire built this um, facade of a nation um, and they called it Australia. Um, and yeah, they've, you know, they're this, you know, they have, they have built up this, this idea that somehow this, this system is legitimate here and that it has the right to dig up all of the resources out of the ground to chop down all the forests, you know, to empty the oceans. Yeah, there is no sensible management of resources by Australia. It is go as hard as you can for as long as you can and hope that you get it before the next person. You know, that's, that's the policy that Australia has been promoting since it started. You know, this system is not corrupt. This system was set up to be corrupt. It, it was rigged from the beginning to make sure that the people who wanted to, to 
to extract resources and make as much money as they possibly could could come here and do that at ease and and that and that and that you know the system that we know as as Australia would provide the military resources to protect those corporate ventures on on the other side of the world and, and what we see now in, well, we see that with Australia is the result of that um, corporate venture from Europe where they went out, like, like empires have throughout history, to steal and rob and murder. And, 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 and yeah, you know, we are not... Very, very wet soon. Thanks for those lovely comments, fellas. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm here as part of this blockade Australia mobilisation. Um, you know, pretty much where this this colonial project started. Um, you know, this this was where um, you know the first ships landed, where the first resources were stolen, and where the first people were killed by what turned into what turned into Australia. Um, you know, it is it is no surprise that Australia is a climate denying society because it has always denied its 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 involvement and its guilt in the um, the the damage that it has caused to the people and the environment of this continent. You know, there is a difference between Australia the organised political system and this continent. You know, this, this continent has been supporting life for a very, very, very long time before Australia was set up. And, and, and right now, there is, you know, that, that society is a really serious threat to, um, you know, this, this system is a really serious threat to most life on this continent and you know there is there is no way of hiding from this system you know there is no way of going you know to some of the last remaining nice bits and just setting yourself up and hoping to weather the storm like the storm's not gonna stop it's an organized exploitation system and it's been doing it for 250 years um, if if you're serious about climate action, you need to get serious about organised resistance to Australia and its program. You know, not, you know, and, and I'm not talking about changing governments, getting another puppet in to tell you that everything's all right and that you're actually, you're actually doing good by, you know, participating and making this machine work because that's just not true. You know, participating in the exploitation of this planet is not the right thing to do. It is, especially at this point in history, the wrong thing to be doing. We need more people to be standing up and getting in the way of the system, not more people participating and apologising for the system. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so Blockade Australia has a mobilisation coming up in June. Um, 
It's a public mobilisation where we're asking as many people as possible to come from across the continent to uh, shut this city down for a week. Um, and yeah, I guess that's that's just just the beginning of what we hope will be, um, you know, a period of continual growth of political resistance to Australia and its program um, because organised and sustained resistance is the only thing that the people in in charge are, are frightened of. You know, they are not afraid of being voted out. They just go and get a job with the people that got them pre-selected in the first place. You know, they are not afraid of being taken to court because a slap on the wrist does not matter when you have 15 houses and and you you, you and your mates you know s sit in all the powerful positions in in society and and lock out all the all the other people who whose whose voices are consistently being ignored um oh this weather looking grim um, have a look at the cops down there getting into their shelter very good um, yeah, um, you know, I'm not really sure what's what what um yeah is is going to happen to me here. Um, yeah, there's there's obviously some pretty significant risks, um, legal risks um, I involved with participating in um, this 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 sort of blockade. But um, you know, I figure that. There is significantly more risk sitting back and watching this society consume this planet, and and that's why I'm I'm here. Um, you know, I would prefer to be somewhere dry, somewhere warm. You know, um, you know, kicking my feet up, but you know, we are in we're in an emergency. Um, and we are not living in a society that is taking it seriously so we need to be getting in the way of that society and forcing it to act you know we we need to be we need to be taking this crisis as seriously as I'm not going to hang up on the live stream. So, see you in a bit.